first, Ross, just want to ask, um, the club have said that they'll be wearing yellow shirts and blue shorts at Northampton tomorrow to show solidarity to Ukraine. Um, just wondering how, how key do the whole squad feel that such, such a display is? Obviously, it's uh, not a little thing that we can do to show solidarity, but I think it's a great thing just to like, raise awareness. And all it's, that's always been going on in the news lately, but I just think it shows that uh, personally, like our solidarity with it, and that it's just a small gesture that we can do. Uh, hopefully, means something to some people, and it's just all we can really do now. So, stand stand with it, and all the boys are happy with it and happy to do it. Absolutely, and, and the club as a whole, they're, they're brilliant at, at such displays, aren't they? We, we've seen it throughout the, in terms of just their, their, their you know, not just a community club, but a club for the for the, for the people as well, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. It's just a uh, feels like I moved here as like a, a big community club, and that and just. We we'll all stick together and we try and keep a nice close knit group with all the players, staff, squad, and even the fans as well. We just it's a good thing to have. It's just a nice, nice community club. Absolutely. And if we're looking on the pitch, Ross, from from a defensive point of view, um, what have you looked at in the last week? Because con- you know, conceding four goals, it, it's really out of character for for Tranmere, isn't it? Yeah, like obviously we had the the great defensive record uh, during this season. Uh, the last couple of games, sadly, it's really went away but we just need to put that in the past now and try and get to what we do best and uh, remember what we've done to be in the situation we're in so uh, just look forward now and just put the past in the past look forward to the game Saturday and uh, uh, that's the main focus Was the frustration as well because of course it, it was a key moment in the game wasn't it the, the penalty and it was outside the box so how, how frustrating were, were you all for that? Yeah it's obviously frustrating uh, with the, the whole situation but listen it happens all the time they're going to get decisions for and against you. You can only try and affect the outcome of it when the decisions are made and try not let it affect you because there's always going to be mistakes here and there for you and against you. We just need to put it in the back burner and uh, move on, really. As as a goalkeeper, for yourself, the frustration, how, how much frustration, how much frustration rather did you feel? Because the goals overall, there really wasn't a lot you could have done with any of them, arguably. Mm-hmm. But, uh, it's just one of the games just, it's, as well, just uh, they were clinical uh, Newport so it's obviously frustrating that way conceding four goals and we just need to focus on that and get back to what we were doing before and being clean sheets uh, most weeks as well so that's just the main focus to get back to that and uh, kick on for here And when you are on a run of tough results even though it's been said many times about how well together the squad is and you've already said it today um, does training change it all maybe to become a bit more serious and a bit more focused is that the right way to go about things no I think just take every game as it comes really we've not really changed too much from when we are when uh, the tough run results we've got we just need to as you said there we just need to stay together and just know trust everyone and know what we're good at and just uh, go back to the, the, the basics of what we are doing a, a few weeks ago to put us in this position we're in do you think it's easy to overanalyse when things aren't going as well as they have been yeah, it's, it's, it's that way. It's like when you're winning, you can don't get too high when you're winning, don't get too low when you're losing. It's just one of the games like football, it's just like uh, it's a lot of ups and downs in football. It can change very quickly, and there's still a lot of games to be played. So just really uh, just need to focus on the game Saturday and kick on again from there. And Northampton Town up next. It's, it's a huge game at the top, isn't it? Even with two months to go. Do you see this being as a crucial game, really, in, in the promotion race? Yeah, I think right now that's that part of the season where every game's crucial. I think every game coming up is just uh, almost like a cup final where it's just like very crucial. It's must-win games every week now. So that's all part and parcel this time of the season when we're trying to push for promotion. So it's every week's just a must-win game and every week's going to be a tough game in, in the, the whole uh, side of things. When you say every game is, is or you're treating every game like a cup final, does that bring stress? And if so, how, how do you deal with the stress of having to prepare for games like that? Take it as it comes, really. It's just uh, one of the things, you know, uh, every game we need to perform to the standards that we set before and we just need to get back to what we were doing before and uh, take it as it comes. But there's obviously pressure coming every game, played for the club, uh, looking to win every week. So that's part and parcel of football at a club like this. And before the last four games or so, you did have a relatively comfortable position in terms of second in the table. As players, do you look? Have you had a look at the table of the last few results? You know, given how tight it is. 
you're always going to look at the table, to be honest with you, but the main thing is just focus on ourselves. And that's the most important thing between us and focus on ourselves because we can only affect what we do, really. So just take it as it comes and just main focus is at Tramia right now. Just finally for me, Ross, how confident are you overall that the squad can overcome this this run of results at the moment and then finish the season strongly to give yourselves the best possible chance of promotion? Yeah, I'm very confident with it, to be honest with you. The group of players we've got here, great group of players, nice group, good players. And we've, we've shown that before, putting a position we're in, uh, that we can do it. So I don't see any reason why not. Brilliant. Cheers, Ross. Hi, Ross. How are you doing, mate? Um, um, just, I want to put it out there. Is there any chance that you stay at Tramia beyond this season? Listen, my main focus is just finishing the season at Tramia here, then see what happens. And right. um, what's it like being a player in on loan and having to deal with a promotion battle like like this one, uh, when you might not even be here to reap the rewards of it next season? Uh, the whole situation, I'm here, here for the season as it stands, uh, and that's my main focus, just being the Tramia player now and doing what's best for the club now. So that's my main focus. It doesn't really affect me. I'm not looking too much at the outcome of next season. And that's just mainly just focus this season, each game as it comes, and just see what happens. And then during your time here at the club, what's it been like learning from the more senior goalkeepers in the squad? Yeah, it's great. I think uh, also with Murph being here as well, like Murph's been great with me, uh, helped me along the way. And just like I talk to him every day about certain things in the game and that, him and Jonah, just, uh, just try to improve myself because I'm still a young goalkeeper and I'm always just trying to learn. So everyone here has been great with me in the goalkeeping side and helping me out every week. So I'm happy with it. And then this week, this weekend's game, as Chris has already said, it's 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 a top of the table clash. It's it's, it's going to be a really important game. What kind of game do you expect this weekend? I think it's going to be a very tough game. Two good sides going at it, uh, but I feel that that's the case every week here. Since I've moved down here, obviously League Two has been new to me since my first time down south. But I just feel every game's a tough game, so you just need to prepare and focus that, and just mainly focus on the game. But I reckon it'll be a really good game Saturday. And Northampton were one of a very few pool of clubs to have won at Prenton Park this season. Uh, how, how do you think the, the team are going to turn that around uh, going to their grounds? I think we just need to focus on ourselves really. And uh, I know if we, we do what we can do, uh, the results will come. So that's the main focus. Just as I said before, it's just mainly focus on trying me and don't focus on anybody else. Just do what we can do and uh, just look forward to the game Saturday night.